So my name is Valerie Ivans and currently I'm an ADHD coach and I also run parent support groups in the borough of Richmond. I had um, actually an interest in, or I worked in international relations and government negotiations and it was only when I had a child myself who had special needs and spent a considerable amount of time in Great Ormond Street Hospital that I realised that perhaps something had to change and from there I moved locally to work with a charity supporting children with special needs and came across a mum and her son who had just been diagnosed with ADHD and from that moment onwards I knew where support was needed and what had to change. Within UCAP I bring the expertise of uh, government relations and government policy building as well as one-to-one -one experience working with children and young people with ADHD promoting their views into the local council and also supporting parents to galvanise their opinions to change how local government actually provides services for this group of children. Um, in 1998 I actually started working at the charity where um, very quickly I understood that ADHD was a very misunderstood and misrepresented condition. Following on from that, I worked very hard both supporting parents and working into government. And in order to do that effectively, I had to understand myself exactly what ADHD meant. That involved listening to parents, going on courses, and in 2006, myself becoming a coach for children with ADHD, which I still do today. So the work I do is actually very much now focused on ADHD and the comorbid or the coexisting conditions that, that run alongside ADHD. Primarily I would say that I'm, I'm an advocate for the children. I work with the children and increasingly young people. I manage with schools through transition and I actually pull together a group of professionals who may be working with the child through key stages of their life such as those transition points. It's incredibly important that local authorities understand how ADHD impacts children's learning. And perhaps one of the most exciting things for me is to be able to walk alongside the children, understand their needs and really verbalise those out to the local authority and to bring about change as a result of that. And we're very successful at doing that.